What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. Today's video, we're gonna talk about my competition journey in BJJ and Judo. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and uh, let's, uh, let's dive into this. For those of you guys who don't know, this channel is all about fitness and martial arts for older guys. I myself, I'm 41 years old. I've been grappling for 10 years now and a lifelong martial artist. I'm also an online coach. I started Brazilian Jiu Jitsu at 30 years old. For three years, I trained and I competed and I completely sucked at it. I sucked. I never won one match in three years, literally. I kept on trying and trying and towards the end, I started getting the gist of it. But what happened was that I, I got into a little argument with my coach at that time. We're still friends now, we made up, but I left. So I went to another club and at the other club, I trained for another three years in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but I, I didn't compete. I was like, yeah, you know what? I don't wanna get back into this. And one of the reasons why is because it's pretty expensive. BJJ competitions, man, they run like about a hundred bucks a pop and your license and, and all that. So I was turned off from competition for the last three years that I did Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Just a little, just to back up a little bit. When I was a kid, I've always wanted uh, to be in the Olympics and to be a, you know, good in competition, um, and, but I never was. I've always wanted to be, to, to be able to perform in competition. First three years of BJJ, I never won a match. I did maybe about 10 to 12 competition, got my ass kicked the whole time. The last match that I did, I actually put up a very good fight and I was getting control of my anxiety and stress and I had an approach going in that was working for me and I still lost. And then boom, after those three years, I went to another club, had a little beef argument there, so changed clubs, went to the new club, didn't feel like competing anymore, you know, too expensive, uh, whatever, just, you know, and I didn't win, so whatever, you know? So that kind of just took a, a back seat in my mind. And then from there, after three years at that club, I transitioned to judo. And when I transitioned to judo, I realized that the, uh, the competitions are much, much cheaper. I mean, they cost a fraction of the price. And it was always, it's, it's a pool system where you have, let's say four or five fighters, not round robin, but pool, right? It's a little bit different. Round robin is where everybody fights everybody. Pool is where, let's say you have five fighters, they kind of fight each other in brackets and then boom, the ones who win move on. The ones who don't, well, they, they, uh, you know, they stay behind, but I mean, you get at least two fights. Whereas with the uh, BJJ competitions, it was a single elimination. You lose that first match, you, you would be out. I always lost the first match in BJJ. So that's why in judo, I was like, oh, okay, well, listen, uh, you know, I, I always wanted to compete. The big excuses was, well, because I sucked and because it was expensive. Okay, well, that kind of kills the excuse there. In judo, it's cheaper and you got a lot more competitions going on. So why not? First two seasons in judo, I lost, I lost. I kept on losing, I couldn't, I won a couple of matches, but I never uh, got to the podium. Well, I did for the Neiwaza, but Neiwaza already had a background in BJJ, so whatever. Then like standing up, Tachi Waza, man, I never got on the podium, man. So for like the first two seasons, I was getting my, I was getting my ass handed to me. I remember my coaches telling me, well, you know, there, there's something off with your, uh, you know, you're just not comfortable in competition yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make you, uh, you're gonna do all the competitions. I did like I think five, six competitions that season, back to back. I just did like something like five, six competitions in a row and then I started winning. And when you start winning, all of a sudden you get, that's what I always wanted. So I got a feel for it. So I actually liked it because now competition became something that was fun. And then finally, by doing, by competing so often, I, all the nerves, all the anxiety went away and it started to become fun. I had my own approach to it, my own mindset coming into the competition. Everything was, um, I dialed my whole routine, my whole preparation routine uh, before, uh, during, and after competition. So everything was, I mean, it's not perfect yet. I'm still working on it. But at this point, like competition to me is just really fun. It's fun because I got, I got over the nerves, but it's also fun because I started winning. And so that's why for those of you guys who don't know, I'm 41 now, but I'm going for my world title, for a world title. Uh, that's my dream. I always wanted to be in the Olympics. That didn't work out. Took a little detour. Life didn't uh, put me in that direction, so to speak. So, but now I'm back on course. I'm trying to fulfill a, a childhood dream. I'm gonna go for my black belt first and after that a world title or a national title, whatever. But I'm gonna compete for a very, very long time. And I, I wanna win now, I wanna win. So that's, that's my journey in competition. I believe that if you can and you're injury free, then why not? When I'm training, I'm staying in shape 
It's for a purpose. It's so I could go kick somebody's ass. I, I know that sounds a little bit crazy, but, but it's not in a bad way. I mean, like I'm not fighting on the street or anything or being in some kind of violent thug or whatever. And even if you don't want to win a world title, but you, you compete and you, have, you know a competition's coming up in the next two months, three months, or the season's coming, then you're not gonna let yourself stay out of shape that much, right? You're going to keep yourself in check. You're gonna eat properly, sleep properly. Why not? Because it's not impossible. I'm 41, guys, so I'm, I'm sure if I could do it, I'm not the only one here, but uh, some of you might just um, need a little bit of help with that. And, and sometimes, you know, like, it, that's why I figure, like, if I, if I make these videos here on YouTube, it could help to, uh, inspire people, you know, uh, who are my age, from my generation, and who, you know, like maybe just needed a little bit of um, just just seeing somebody do it. And I'm gonna do it. So hope you guys follow me on my journey. And thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell, help get notified when I make videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.